Hey, welcome to another episode of The Rob Report. I'm your host, Robert Bob TV Brown. Before we get into this segment, by the end of this video, I want you to do a few things for me. First of all, if you like the video, hit the like button. Please do. If you don't like it, hit unlike. It's okay. Make sure you are subscribed to this channel. Sometimes, as Jimmy Doyle would say, you find yourself unsubscribed and you need to make sure that you subscribe to this channel. Hit the notification bell right next to it so you can be notified when a new video is being dropped whoop there it is and more importantly the super chat will be on for this segment so if you want to donate uh, toward the efforts of bob tv that's freely up to you i do have a job but any amount will help toward the growth of this channel and more important let us help you help us by introducing you to a program there's a link down below that says equal justice for all you're going to click that video link and there's some educational tutorial about a phenomenal program in America that is really making equal justice a reality for every citizen. So this program is phenomenal. Um, the proceeds from you participating in the program will go back 10%. will go back into um, the Bob TV YouTube channel. So anyway, my name is Robert Brown with The Rob Report. Let's get into it. Blue collar, Blue collar, white collar, white collar, black professors, black professors white scholars, scholars politicians, Dalai Lamas. Everybody in the whole wide world need hope if I be honest. I'm in that number. Rob Report, I'm your host, Robert Bob TV Brown. See, I'm new to this. Then he have my mic on. <laughs> so please continue to be patient with me. It is late. I don't expect a whole bunch of people to be on here today. Uh, but I do want to appreciate um, you for being on the show or watching this video. So we got a lot of stuff I want to talk about today. And I guess I'll start with, uh, let's see. Mr. Empire himself. He decided to remove the role of Jamal from the final two episodes of the season. End quote. Again, from part of our company here at Fox. That statement coming from the PR department just a moment ago. You, 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 you. I've been looking for you, you, you. you I've been looking for you. You, you, you. Listen, if I tell the truth, then that's it, because it's the truth. Mm -hmm. Police have questioned those two men in the surveillance image. Well, tonight, those two brothers now claim that Smollett paid them to orchestrate the homophobic and racist attack. He said, this MAGA country punches me right in the face. I noticed the rope around my neck, and I started screaming. And I said, there's a rope around my neck. I'm left hanging my head and asking why. Why would anyone, especially an African-American man, use the symbolism of a noose to make false accusations? It's coming from the President of the United States. When I heard about what had happened to Jesse, and I heard they put a rope around him and they poured bleach on him and stuff, I was absolutely very upset. How could someone look at the hatred and suffering associated with that symbol and see an opportunity to manipulate that symbol to further his own public profile. If the attackers are never found, how will you be able to heal? Um, I don't know. Let's just hope that they are. You know what I'm saying? Like, let's, let's not go there yet. Let's not. Um, <laughs> I was talking to a friend and I said, I just want them to find them. And she said, sweetie, they're not going to find them. How can an individual who's been embraced by the city of Chicago turn around and slap everyone in this city in the face? I have fought for love. I'm an advocate. I respect too much the people who I am now one of those people who have been attacked in any way. You do such a disservice when you lie about things like this. I have fought for love. I'm an advocate. I respect too much the people who I am now one of those people who have been attacked in any way. You do such a disservice when you lie about things like this. Bogus police reports cause real harm. They do harm to every legitimate victim who's in need of support by police and, and investigators, as well as the citizens of this city. I am now one of those people who have been attacked in any way. 
You do such a disservice when you lie about things like this. Well, there you go. Uh, just say Smollett. <laughs> I don't know what to say about this guy. Um, clearly, he's an excellent actor, and nobody can take that away from him. Oh my goodness, is that him? Are we, do we have to go now? We have to hurry go now, now, hurry now, come on, hurry up, hurry up. Aren't you the man from the Empire show? That movie? Yes. You got a problem? Yeah. Um, um, why do you doing around guys, here? Guys, guys, come on, the accent. More white, more racist, hillbilly. Oh, 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 okay. Hey, nigga, stop right there. What are you doing in our town? Aren't you that nigga from Empire? Yes, I am. I'm the gate Tupac. What's good? What's good? Nigga, what the hell you doing over here? Get more aggressive, more aggressive. Hey, f*** the bone shit! Oh, 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 rope around his neck! around his neck! Let me fight back a little bit. Let me fight back. Alright. Oh. Ow, that hurt, oh. nigga! What the hell is oh. you? More bleach pour, on his neck. Oh, please, let me get the water. Let me get the water. Hurry up. Hurry up. Oh, look at the... Oh, please, stop doing it, please! Hey. Oh, this is MAGA country now, nigga! You don't belong here. We don't like... We don't like your gay seagull ass oh. over here. Oh. Don't you ever bring your ass around here, nigga boy. Or he'll beat your ass again. Please don't do it, please. Hit him one last time to show we're serious. Oh. And run away so the cops don't see anything that we already did. All right. Oh. Why? Why me? Why me? What's that doing? Oh, that's good. You guys got cash app? No, you told me you were going to be Venmo. Venmo? I said cash app. Oh, I get the cash app you right now. You West Ham Union me because I don't have my papers. Because, boy, did he act his way through this situation <laughs> and made himself look like a fool. Because he go into his defense of anybody who do this, anybody who lie about this, anybody who come up with something like this is wrong, horrible, just a terrible person. Do you saying that to yourself? Because that's exactly what you did. Now, <clears throat> before I go to this next, next segment, please understand what he did was wrong. This was one of the most dumbest publicity stunts that I've ever seen in my life. Now, there, there have been worse publicity stunts than this, believe me. Car accident, faking death, the whole nine yard. He didn't do that. He did lie about somebody from Trump Nation or a MAGA hat person attacking him. And that is not cool because bad enough. Everybody think that every person who wear a red MAGA hat is a racist, and they're not. Some of them are, but some of them not. Some of them just support Trump and want to wear their hat. Doesn't mean they're racist. I, I see black people with um, Trump hat. Doesn't mean they're racist. They just like Trump. I'm not a Trump fan. But to make this up is appalling. All right, so it's a Fox announced on Friday Jesse Smollett was suspended from the hit show Empire after the actor was accused of paying two men to attack him last month and what police saw, police said was a ploy to raise his profile because he was unhappy with his salary. The event of the past few weeks have been incredibly emotional for all of us, said a statement from 20th Century Fox Television attributed to the show's executive producer. Jesse has been an important member of our Empire family for the past five years, and we care about him deeply. While these allegations are very disturbing, we're placing our trust in the legal system. As the process plays out, we're also aware of the fact of this um, process on the cast and crew who work on our show. And to avoid further disruption on the set, we have decided to remove the role of Jamal from the final two episodes of the season. They say referring to his character, Jamal Lyon, um, the scion of the recording industry family. The show is currently in production on the 17th of the fifth season, 18th episode, and is expected to complete filming by mid-March. The suspension suggests that scenes uh, in which he already appeared will be removed from the finishing episode and plans call for a wedding between Jamal and his boyfriend, Kai, played by Toby on on Woomir. Fox would neither confirm nor deny the storyline. Now, as you know, um, you know, in the last episodes, he'd been having some issues with his fiance. Um, um, 
putting out information about the new brother that they know about. The show's still popular among young adult viewers. It's expected to be renewed and returned to Fox lineup on March 13th after a winter break. But Smollett returns to the cast next season is highly uncertain. The move by Fox came after a damage, uh, damaging day for the 36-year-old star on Thursday, which began when he turned himself in on charges. He filed a fake police report and ended with prosecution stated uh, ended with prosecutors stating that, that uh, stating he plotted the January 29th attack to make himself look like the victim of a brutal anti-black homophobic crime. Now I can go more and more into this story. Uh, I am not. I'm coming out of this frame right now. <laughs> uh, but you now the bottom line is this: clearly, uh, Mrs. Smollett have some inner issues. Um, some people they do things to get attention, and clearly. This is one that got his attention. He didn't need attention. The guy's a handsome young brother. Got the whole world to himself. Yet you got to do this. Got the whole world in his hand. Excellent singer. Why do people do stuff like that? Who knows? Who knows? Only he knows and he needs to seek psychiatric help. Sometimes we all do. I've, I've had to seek psychiatric help, help before uh, concerning um, my son who passed away and a, co a couple other things. I had to seek some help, you know. Um, it's okay to get help, people. It's okay. You don't have to result in getting attention like this. Bad enough this country is divided. And then here you got, uh, what's her name, Maxine Waters. I call her Mad Max. Um, Maxine, she talked, going to blame this on Trump. This ain't got nothing to do with Trump with what that boy did. Come on, J come on, Jesse. Come on, Mr. Smollett. Get the help that you need. Do, should he go to jail? Yeah, he should do the time for faking the crime. But right at the whole point, he need to be getting psychiatric help while he's there. Doesn't necessarily mean you're crazy. You're missing something and you need to find out what it is so you can fill it. Here, here it is. You got a young man who got the whole world in his hand. Great actor, great singer. Always thought he could play the um, Prince role, um, but he's too tall. <laughs> so he, he has a lot of head for himself. So the bottom line is this. Never do nothing like that. Don't do nothing like this. This not the end all. People done worse. Anytime... R. Kelly can allegedly pee on some teenager in a, um, a tape, and he still continued to keep his career going strong. This brother should be able to forgive himself, get the help that he need, and apologize to the world, and do whatever he can to make it right with the world. And then hopefully, because he's a pillar of the Empire series, hopefully Empire will bring him back instead of killing them off, which they probably would do. Now, that's that on Jesse Smoke.